Hey guys, it's New Oblivious, and today we're going to be painting a beautiful scene with my my original character Corinth in the middle of it. And so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mix of titanium white and forest green to paint a to paint a pretty uh, plane of grass here. And I didn't put too much uh, white in there. I just I mostly just kept with the forest green, so that way it'd be kind of dark. Because I didn't want the the forest to be too light, because I want to make the sky really clear. And I don't want the... I want the sky to stand out as being clear. So I don't mind the grass being kind of dark. corner just doesn't want to hold paint. Okay, and now that that's done, I'm going to switch over to my other brush, my secondary brush that I was going to use just for the sky because I didn't want to, to have to wash the brush because I was too lazy to get a cup of water. So, now we're using our sea blue and titanium white mix to make a nice pretty sky and I'm going to Add a little bit of white to it because it's not quite as bright as I want it to be. Now see the thing about painting is, is it doesn't have lines usually. And that's kind of difficult for me, because being a cartoonist, lines are something that I kind of require. So that's why I've never really liked painting, because whenever I actually drew, before I was good at it, I would always draw with lines. The lines were always important. So whenever I painted, I generally had like Sharpie all over it, <laughs> because I needed the lines there. Alright guys, I'm back. It's uh, the paint's dried now, or dried enough. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start by getting some of our, <laughs> some of our forest green. It's not what it's actually called, but that's what I'm calling it because I don't understand why it's called that, so I'm just not going to say that. Um, we're going to get some of that, and we're actually going to make this darker, because I want my trees to have a lot of shading to them, so we're going to go out and go and get my black, my lamp black, this black is my lamp right there, you know, I'm sure that's why it's called lamp black didn't explode on me. Awesome.
Now it's time to add in our our foliage. Our nice pretty bunches of leaves here. Now this is supposed to be horrible for your brushes to swirl, but I honestly don't care. Because these are disposable brushes and to heck with them, right? Let's just use them however we need to to make our, our painting how we want it. I want my trees to be swirling. Want you, if you want your tree swirly, make your tree swirly. If you if you want them to be spiky, then do that. Whatever you want, it's your tree, you know. Now this is where it gets hard for me. I talked about this earlier. Me being a cartoonist, lines are kind of a requirement for me to do well. So when painting, you can't really have lines. It just doesn't work that way. So I have to find a way to make the corn to look good without lines. get one of the really fine brushes. That Cursea would be mad at me for using. So I was thinking that we would let Corinth wear a maroonish color. Um, it's actually going to be crimson red, but honestly it looks like maroon to me. Yeah, we're just going to redo his hands in a moment because they're in the way. Alright guys, we're back. Now what happened? Corinth turned into a tree. So, yeah. Um, now we're going to we're going to make him more tree-like, and then we're going to get back to what we were doing in the first place of trying to add in a, a subject. And the subject this time is not going to be facing us. And not only that, it's not going to be a human because I'm not drawing a face. Alright, so the happy little tree is done. The happy massive tree is done. It's, it's a big freaking tree. Um, so now we're going to try drawing... Uh, our focus again 
and I'm actually going to film it a little bit differently because I want to be able to hold it how I do when I'm like really focusing on what I'm painting. And, or what I'm drawing, and that is holding it up against my face while I do it. So, y'all are going to get to see what I see while I paint this guy. Now see, this is a call out to all, all artists out there, especially animators. Get out of your medium. Whatever your standard medium is, try something else. Try oil pastels if you're good at painting. Don't, do pa it, don't paint oil pastel and see what you can create. If you've tried everything and you're an animator, try doing a flip book. Just get out of your medium, man. Try something new. So that's it, guys. I have successfully painted a uh, whatever the heck this is. I'm honestly not all that happy with it, and I I wish it was better. I don't really know what to do to make it better, because I'm bad at painting. But that's all for this video, hope you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below for better art in the future, I also do gaming and other things, so um, yeah, just check out my channel, and if you like what's on there, then you should definitely subscribe. Uh, I generally do electronic art, not paintings, because I'm bad at painting, but yeah, anyway. I'll see y'all later.